If A is a variable with a person's name, say Jose, and B is another person's name, again Jose, A and B should be equal, right? Right? Here's what happened. Character like this, the E with an acute accent, and many more things like emojis, are defined in a standard called Unicode, which allows them to be represented in multiple ways. In A, the accented E is in the compose form, and there's only one Unicode code point to represent it. But in B, it uses the decompose form, so there are actually two code points, the letter E and the accent, which are composed on screen. So next time you receive an input from users that can contain non-ASCII characters, make sure to normalize it. With JavaScript, you can use the built-in normalize method, and you can choose any form you like, such as NFC, NFD, NFKC, or NFKD, as long as you're consistent and always stick to it in your app.